And now, Friday Night Fever with Mike Ludlam. Good evening, everyone. Ishpeming is number two in the UP Big Five poll. Nagani is number three. Mid-Peninsula Conference lead on the line. Let's go to the playgrounds in Ishpeming and pick up the action. Leading 8-0 in the second quarter, the Hematites just recovered a fumbled Nagani punt. Fourth and four in the minor 16, Ozzy Corp to a sliding Lukulu for the catch and the touchdown. Two-point conversion good, 16-0 Hematites. The Miners lost the fumble on its next, their next possession, but whoops, so did Ishpeming because nobody decided to catch the snap and the Miners would recover. So much for scoop and score. Five plays later, Brock Ajo fakes and keeps it one yard for the score. Two point good. Ishpeming still leads 16 to 8. Fourth quarter, same score. Ajo, a quarterback sneak from four yards. Oh, Jeff Olson will be really furious about that. Two point good. We're tied at 16. Ishpeming strikes back an 85 yard drive. Ozzy Corp on the Hematites 45 to Thomas Finnegan. And he is over the middle in the secondary. Cannot catch him. 55 yards for the score. Two point pass was intercepted. Nagani could not find the end zone again. And Ishpeming remains undefeated with a 22 to 16 win over Nagani. Another rivalry game. Let's go to Kingsford, where the Flivers were hosting Iron Mountain. Fourth and two. Kingsford uh, and ceremonial coin toss, excuse me. Flivers, Don Edens with the coin toss. Then Iron Mountain on the board first. Josh Tucker, the one yard run. Mountaineers up six, nothing. Kingsford trying to drive, looking on the pass. Brandon Kowakowski. Unfortunately, Carson Wonders will not let him throw. Second consecutive sack and another drive now. Second quarter, Iron Mountain, Aaron Bolo, Ryan Michaud. Yes! Oh, he gets three feet in the end zone. That's plenty for high school. Mountaineers up 12 nothing. Both these teams with four and two records. Kingsford number four in the poll, Iron Mountain number five. Then the quick screen, Brendan McGuire is going to outstep everybody to the end zone. 67 yards. Kingsford makes the extra point. That made it 12-7 Iron Mountain. Flivers score in the second half and go on to win 14-12. Rivalry game again. Gladstone and Escanaba. Logan Lamb. Noah Kreisha with the sack. And that would mean Escanaba punts. However, Escanaba gets the ball back. Logan Lamb scores from a few yards out, and it's 7 to nothing. Second quarter, fourth and 18 on the Braves, 35. Logan Lamb, a dart to Dylan Gothier. That's good for 30 yards, down to the Gladstone 5. Setting up a five-yard run from Braden Papineau. The Eskimos are up 13 nothing and looking pretty darn good. Ben Schwalbach will be picked off by Dalton Deneau. Escanaba led 20 to nothing at the half, and they would go on to win 39 to 14. To the scoreboard, some people thought Menominee might have trouble with Medford, Wisconsin. That didn't happen. 56 0 Maroons. Newberry over Manistique, 63 to 28. Forest Park, Dan Nasserini's back in the lineup. That means good things for the Trojans. 30 to 6 over Gogivic. He had 145 yards rushing and a couple touchdowns. Hurley, 48. North Dickinson, 34. Sault Ste. Marie wins again. Blue Devils 28-6 down in Sheboygan. And hey, Runyard's on the board. The Bulldogs take care of Atlanta 54-12. Let's go to Alger County, Munising to be exact, where the Mustangs and their breast cancer awareness pink are taking up Bark River Harris. And Will Seymour with the touchdown. And Munising takes a 7-6 lead. On the ensuing kickoff, doink, bounce, crunch, Hey, Mustangs get the football. Sean Sutherland, the recovery. Corey Cody will get a hole, takes it up the middle for a first down inside the 15-yard line. Then second quarter, Corey Cody again, touchdown, 13-6 Munising. 7.43 left in the half, fourth and six on the nine. Touchdown pass from Jake Greenfield. Bark River is on the board. That cuts the deficit to 13-12. Alec Blank with the big interception here. Munising scores once in the second half, and the Mustangs are in the playoffs with a 6 and 1 record, 19 to 12. Bark River Harris is 5 and 2. Let's go to Barriga County, where Calumet is taking on Lance. First quarter, here come the Copper Kings, second and six from the 16. Rush Bajoran fakes, keeps it himself, 
and he steps just through a couple people. That's for a touchdown, 6 0 Copper Kings. Next, it is Bjorn giving the ball to Robert Urkula. Robert says, No, you got to do better than an arm tackle. And Robert out kicks the rest of them. And that's a touchdown from 43 yards, 12 0 Copper Kings. Calumet not letting up. Bjorn Urkula. This is going to be his second score. And about 18 yards, two point good, 20 to nothing. Then, Near the end of the first half, Brandon Kosky, Michael Anderson, the innocent fade. Hey, Purple Hornets are on the board, down 20 to 8. The Copper Kings under a minute to go. Bajorn, Peter Anderson, right in front of us for the catch. They go on to score, and it's 34 14. Calumet, your winner here. Now let's go back to Dickinson County. How about the Norway Knights and Westwood? Westwood up big at halftime, and they just keep right on going. Luke Gray. Hard to break down on a good night, and when it's a bad night, you can't find him at all. But he is finally tackled after a whole bunch of yards. That would be Scott Sergela's game plan, and Brandon Benda adds six more with this run. That makes it 50-15 to Patriots. Fourth quarter, Benda will find the end zone again, and Westwood gets the win by the score of 56-15. to Back to Marquette County where we started. Hancock at Gwynn, homecoming for the model towners. And it's a good start for the Gwynn defense as the Hancock running back cannot get going. Hunter Bachman with the hit with some of his friends. For the Gwynn offense, Devin Dox powers the ball in from one yard. It's 8-0 model towners. Third and 10 on the 18, Kevin Roberts looking deep down the sideline. And, oh, Mr. Dox is there right in front of our camera to make the catch on the wheel route. And that sets up, yes, Mr. Dox again. He'll score right in front of us. And the model towners are back in the win column, 28 to 12. Eight-man football scores, uh, mostly blowouts tonight. North Central easily over Ontonagon, 74-0. Stevenson doubles up Rapid River, 76-38. Pickford cruises past Charlton SD 76 nothing we did not hear from Brimley and Pelston and we will be right back. The Michigan Tech Huskies start the hockey season with a couple of preseason games. They're hosting the Voyagers of Laurentian at the McGinna Student Ice Arena. We'll pick up the action in period number two. They're your Voyager highlights and here come the Huskies. Brett Boeing getting the shot off and it would be a goal as the pass was made in front and he will tap it in right before contact is made with the net. Oh, very nicely done, 1-0 Michigan Tech. Later on the power play, Max Vallis, Mark Auk, the quick wrister, the wicked wrister, pops the water bottle, and it's 2-0 Huskies. Tech is added against on the second period, and Matt Roy with the blast from the point, and the next thing you know, oh my goodness, practically an empty net goal for Brett Baltus. Baltus and Boeing scored in the third period. Huskies win this preseason game 5-1. On the scoreboard, in regular season play, North Dakota defeats Lake Superior State 5-2. NMU gets goals from Shane Suth and freshman Philip Starzynski as they tie Wisconsin tonight at 2. And in the United States Premier Hockey League, Marquette, the Royals finally play a home game, but they lose to the Tri-City Hawks by the count of 4-2. Good night for the Huskies and Wildcats. Tech takes care of Walsh 3-0, NMU 3-1 over Malone. And also in volleyball, did not hear on Lake Superior State. North Central defeated Finlandia 3-1. Gliak women's soccer, good games for Tech and Northern. 3-0 for the Huskies over Tiffin. 2-0 for the Wildcats over Finley. And Tech tennis, a rough day. 9-0, Tiffin Dragons. And we will be right back. College football Saturday, Michigan Tech has homecoming against Northwood. NMU also home against Malone. And Finlandia looking for its second win in a row over Presentation College. The Spartans are out east against Rutgers, Michigan, and Northwestern. A great weekend. Enjoy.